Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, what meditation is for the mind, chiropractic is for the body. We have that similar expanse of possibility to create change in within the human system. And one doesn't exist without the other. You know, I mentioned mind body. It's really one thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they did these cool studies and they look at the cortex, the thickness of cortex in meditators. So a somebody that's 50 years old, that's been meditating for at least 10 years, they will show a court, like normally your cortical thickness and your cortex is where we have conscious understanding. Your cortical thickness diminishes with age. In people that have been meditating for 10 years or longer for, you know, a daily meditation practice, they actually show a cortical thickness to that that's equivalent to that of a 25 year old. Okay. So mm -hmm. we don't have the studies yet showing that similar kind of impact with chiropractic, if it is exists or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm, I would be willing to bet a lot of money that it does. And I think there's such a perfect marriage in how we look at what meditation allows us to do and being able to adapt, right, to changes in our affect, our emotion, in our thoughts, and to help sort of control that stream of consciousness. Mm -hmm. I think if chiropractic can do anything to elevate that, mm -hmm. they really, they come together beautifully. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a perfect marriage.